just sex. It was revengeful. No, it is no, just sex. He it was, was it was a revenge. Not happy like that. You should want to listen to her. Okay. Because that was that's what made me go and do what I did. And I found somebody that gave me what I needed sexually. You're making babies. You know, I have every. You know. I have every reason to extend. In this episode, one of the witnesses joined holiness with infidelity in a very crazy way. Tries to justify why he won't stop having kids. You're gonna I take care of the job. kids. The, the the issue is you need to stop making. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. Because you're I not. Want, you're not. I want, I you're want not gonna kids. stop making children. I want, I want kids. The Bible says be fruitful. Now hold on. Don't start on the Bible with me. You Are you married? Be before you. No, Are I'm you married? married? Okay. So the Bible also says. Get married. He also believes his girlfriend's 10 month old child is not his daughter. Ms. Gray, you say the defendant, Mr. Pearson, has ripped your family apart. You say he never denied your two oldest kids, but refuses to believe he is the biological dad of baby Kamaya, your youngest. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Pearson, you claim that not only are you not baby Kamaya's father, but you know that her dad is actually a member of your own family. Here's what the girlfriend has to say about that. Granted, I would I would love to have my family all together because that's what I really came here for. I just want him to treat her the way he treats the other ones. He treats them way more better than he treats her. He buys them things. He don't buy her nothing. Is that true, Mr. Pearson? Yes, Your Honor, it is. It is true? Yes, it is. And that's because of the doubt you say you have? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Pearson would reveal who she has been cheating on him within his family. I is your child. She slept with my cousin, Your Honor. What? Exactly what? How did you find that out? Being the fact that he was at my house while I was leaving to go to work, and I just left it be. I didn't question it. You know, I thought I could have more trust in my cousin. And uh, we moved in with them. You moved in with your cousin? Yeah, because at that time I didn't have suspicions until, you know, we started to move out. And I started thinking, I, said, I wonder what he was coming to my house for. She didn't deny sleeping with his cousin, but she had her reasons. It's great. Did you sleep with his cousin? Yes, I did. It was revengeful. It was revengeful because he left me in North Carolina when I was pregnant with our son, DeMonte, to go be with his cousin's ex-girlfriend. Not only that, they have a kid together. So, yes, I slept with his cousin several times, too, because See, it was go. revengeful. Now the truth come out. You say what now? Pearson, you, you were never told once. it happened more than once? Actually, he the one that told me, and he told me that it happened, and I, I confronted her about it, and she lied to me, and she still lies to me about it, Your Honor. At first, she told you how many times did she sleep with him? Uh, first, it, it happened once, and it happened at my aunt's house, allegedly. And then in the second time I ask her, she's the type of person you got to ask her a thousand times to get the truth. Now that it is established that she slept with his cousin and it also happened several times, what more could she have to say? Ms. Gray, did you ever tell the cousin you were pregnant too? I was already pregnant when I slept with his cousin, so there's no way that that's his cousin's baby, but he's too dumb to realize science. But so, so, so let me ask you this. Have you ever told the cousin that he potentially could be Kamaya's father? No, I told him that he wasn't the father, and he insisted to me that he was hey. the father. And The I cousin joins the courtroom. Gray has testified that you've indicated that Kamaya is your biological child, and Mr. Pearson, your cousin, has indicated that he is aware that you were sleeping with Ms. Gray. Are these things true? Yes, Your Honor. Um, uh, I was aware that she was pregnant. Um, as being who the father was, neither one of us knew, because at that time, she did tell me that she was pregnant, but the time frame between when she had the baby and the time frame when I slept with her, it felt like it could have been mine. Miss Gray doesn't agree with the cousin's testimony. She stuck to her story. Because I know who I slept with and I know when I got pregnant. But you also told Mr. Pearson it just happened one time. So in that way, you weren't telling the truth because he hasn't gotten a straight answer. Never have. And so Never if... Feel. And look, I'm just saying, if we're lying about how many times, why not also lie about when? And that is coupled with the fact that his cousin, the other Mr. Pearson, has indicated that he counted back the dates from when you had Kamaya, and he felt like there could be a question of paternity. Yeah, but it's not his baby. And I told him that several times that it's not his baby. Why would he do that to his cousin and not find someone who is not his cousin's girlfriend? Him until he disrespected me. 
in all honesty, it sounds like you went over to play with DeMonte and then you ended up playing with his mother. No. <laughs> That's what I call the ultimate play date. It appears Mr. Pearson has his side piece. This gets interesting. Was this for you just sex as well, or did you have some affinity for this woman? It was just out of spite because I felt I had such a strong bond with my ex, and, and I did, when he went up there and had a baby by my ex, it kind of it, it just kind of broke me down. As in, I just broke up with her. We're, we're dealing with what we're dealing with, and I broke up with her. So the bottom line is this is a three-way revenge because yeah. you had sex with his ex, moved in with her, and had a baby with her. Yes, Your Honor. An eye for an eye. Is this case a baby for a baby? The results are in. Let's see what the DNA says. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Theodore Pearson. Can I see my daughter, Your Honor? We're in for a long ride with this episode. Not knowing who her father is, she has the right to know. And this court believes that every child has the right to know... Right, I understand. ...who their parents are. <laughs> I have to ask you, Miss Chappelle, do you still want to proceed in light of your father's advice and recommendation? Yeah, no offense to him, it hurt me when I grew up not knowing who my dad was. And finding out when I was younger like that, it really tore me apart. My daughter doesn't deserve that. She deserves to know. All right, Mr. Wells, please take a seat and let As the case proceeded, she was asked to talk about their relationship. Ms. Chapel had a lot to say about their sex life. I started getting bored with our sex life. I kept telling him and telling him and telling him. I said I wanted to people. change it. No, it takes two people. Well, if later. I tell you, if I tell you that we needed to change it, we needed to change it because I wasn't happy sexually. No, I'm, I'm, I'm working four hours a week. Him, I'm trying to provide for you and my son. To try something no, we... new. I'd be like, well, let's go get some handcuffs. Let's try something new. Okay. Because that was that's what made me go and do what I did. And I found somebody that gave me what I needed sexually. Do I regret it? Yes, I do. I do regret it every day, but I don't regret my daughter. She's the best thing that's ever happened. To me. How did the affair start? How did that start? Well, he was a friend and we started sexting and I would hide it. We would send messages on Facebook. I dropped my son off at the babysitters. I would tell my husband I was going somewhere else. We would meet up. We met in his driveway, a hotel. I mean, we had sex and it was what I wanted sexually. And I was so excited because this guy gave me what I wanted. He wasn't scared to go in there and jerk my clothes off and say, I want you like this. I want somebody to take control over me like that. It gets crazier, I promise. She has a calendar documenting when she had sex with them. Well, I have the calendar to show I had sex with both of them on the same day at one point. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Jerome, will you please hand me that evidence, please? So this is a calendar for the month of May. Yes, ma'am. In red, we have outlined the dates you were intimate with your husband. Yes, Your Honor. In green, we have the days you were intimate with the other potential father. Yes, ma'am. Which is inside the window of yes, conception, which is outlined in pink here. Yes, Your Honor. She shifted from blaming the husband to blaming her side piece for getting her pregnant. I wonder who she'll blame next. This. this is a lot of information. It makes me and sick. And this is your wife? Yeah, and I'm, I'm working 40 hours a week trying to provide for my family. You know, I messed up and you can't just blame it all on me because <laughs> it's a marriage. And I kept telling you I was unhappy and you didn't want to listen to exactly. me. Exactly. That's the magic And that's what got us where we're, we're at today. Married. And I'm sorry that I messed up and I went and had sex with somebody else, but I, I think she has the right to know. But <laughs> unprotected sex, you could have gave me something. You know, there's stuff out there you could have caught. There's more of it than being pregnant. You could have caught something and gave it to me. During the doctor's visits, she tried to invite the other guy to come to the visit. Hey. He was okay with it at uh, first. Your Honor. And I told him, I said, you know, this guy kept making excuses not to show up and... My husband, he's like, hold well, on, hold no. on, hold on. You said we tried to invite the other guy to come to the doctor's appointments with us? Yes. Whenever I told him I was pregnant and we had gotten into an argument, we were on the way home from the zoo with our son. Excuses, excuses, excuses. We invited him to the doctor's appointment. No, well, she... when we... You invited your husband and the man you had an affair with to the doctor's appointments 
while you were pregnant? Yes, Your Honor. Together? Yes. No. <laughs> Did he come? No, he didn't. No. But if he was a chance he was the father, I wanted him to get to experience that too. Your Honor, we're married. You know, I want to be the father. It wouldn't look good with two guys at the doctor's office. How often do you see two men at the doctor? A shocking revelation was made about the man she was having an affair with. I went back to his house. I, I informed his wife what was going on. Oh, you all didn't say this other man was married. Yeah. No wonder he was conveniently absent. Oh. I even told his wife what was going on. I sent her a message on Facebook. Did you get a response? No, she blocked me on Facebook. <laughs> well, the baby was born and her features became a point of discussion. When you saw her for the first time, did you look at her and say, I wonder, does she look like me? I saw the long curly hair and, and it kind of gave me excitement about it because I knew I had long curly hair when I was a baby and uh, I was happy about it. Ms. Chappelle, how did you feel? When I first saw her, I thought that she kind of looked like the other guy, but they both had blonde hair when they were younger, so that's what gave us, like, the doubt. It's time to see the results. It has been determined by this court, Mr. Chappelle, you are not her biological father. Why'd you do this for? <laughs> I'm so sorry. We want to know what you think about this in the comments. If you think she has crazy excuses, wait until you see the next video. You are here to prove that Mr. Houston is the biological father of your two-year-old son, Corey. You contend the defendant duped you and was living a double life. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Houston, you claim that you are not the biological father of Ms. Herman's son and will clear your name when the results are written. She went on to search for him on Facebook and found he was married with kids. At the time I was pregnant, I had told Mr. Houston that I was pregnant. He said that he would be there for me and my child. After two doctor's appointments, he stopped showing up. So I got a little suspicious. So I got my investigation glasses on, you know, and I found out via Facebook that he has a wife and children. And, and I, have, I have the evidence right here, Your Honor. Check out Mr. Houston's response. When I met her, I met her as a gentleman. Before anything, before my father, before my dad, before my liar, before my cheetah, before any of these things at all, I'm a man first. Well, you over here doing a Shakespearean play. Uh, <laughs> tell me what happened. How is it you end up getting this woman pregnant and she finds you on Facebook with a ring on and a family? You know, anything I got going on before I met her, wasn't her business. You see what I'm saying? When he was questioning about not using protection, in a hilarious exchange, she wouldn't even let him give an excuse. But you didn't use protection when you were sleeping with her. She, no, you did not. Did you, you did tell not. Him? Don't lie, you did not use, he did not use a condom, Your Honor. He did not. Your Honor. No, the answer is no. Don't Your let Honor. him lie to you, the answer is no. No, well, N-O, no, the you night, the, no. The, they met at the club and he took her home, but it wasn't his matrimonial home. It was his friend's bachelor pad. He was, he got married that day. So it was his home because now he had a new home with his wife. Exactly. So this was like his this bachelor pad. This is like pad. a bachelor, bachelor pad, you know? So how long does this relationship go on? Um, about a month and a half when I found out I was pregnant, I told Cortez that I was pregnant and he didn't say anything on the other line of that phone. He said, are you for real? I say, yes, I'm for real. Then he promised that he would be there. What happened next is an epic narration. I need to go back, first of all. Okay, the night before I actually even thought that she was pregnant, okay? I wanted to stay the night with her because, you know, at this time, my kids were asleep, my wife was asleep too, all right? I was up. I, 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 had, I, had, I was just up. I was full of energy. Went to the bathroom. I called Carice and I asked her, what you doing? She answered the phone at 2 a.m. like I expected. She was ready, okay? She always got it laid out. She would have candles here, candles there. She would have it. I got over there. I want details, okay. but I don't know if it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. He was asked about his wife, and he gave the classic cheating man excuse. We were already on the verge of going through a divorce. Things wasn't what she expected it to be. Look we at his eyebrows. Maybe you didn't Look understand my question. Did your wife know? You left the house to go sleep with another woman? No, she did not. Okay. Rome, uh, I think I'm ready to speak to Mr. Houston's wife. If you didn't know what business Mr. Houston is in, you're about to know. It wasn't what you all both expected she and you all this. were on your way to get a divorce. See, I'm in the business of making babies, you know. I have every, you know, 
I have every reason to extend my bloodline. Let me let me let you know, you know. While Mr. Houston was narrating how they met, she gave a bizarre yet hilarious excuse for not using condoms. But you I did not condoms. use protection, did, I did you? Use I didn't know this woman. He's lying. Two. I didn't know her. He did Timbuktu. not use protection. Young gun, I didn't know. I don't like condoms, so I don't use condoms. exactly. And Period. I want you to know this. They make. They, I'm allergic to latex, so I can use non-latex condoms. Why do people keep saying they're allergic to Listen, latex, but not allergic this to woman sex? Tried to he used food as an analogy as to why he cheated. Yep. She wasn't there. It's like eating chicken every day. I wanted something else. It had nothing to do with my wife. Can you please know when to stop when you're ahead? <sighs> Maybe making business story because I knew you didn't have the proper words to explain what you were feeling. But you're not going to sit up in this courtroom and talk about women, beautiful women, are equivalent to some chicken. Well, that's not no, what you're not gonna do that. He claims he doubts paternity because she had affairs with other men too. Bed, her phone vibrating in the bed. Now, mind you, it's 2 a.m., okay? Who is this text message is coming through 2 a.m.? You know what she said? Don't worry about it. On my life. You know what I did? When she told me don't worry about it, because I gave her my time. I left my home to come check on her, you know? She oh, was a privilege for her. You it was it. It's time for the results. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Houston, you are not the father. Yes. Thank you, Jesus.